Hi guys, so I wanted to talk about um, Mama Cloth and why I have chose to try it. Slash, um, I'm pretty committed considering I've bought pads already and they're not cheap, so <laughs> I hope I like it, which I, I think I will. Um, just an intro overview. Um, for those of you who don't know what Mama Cloth is, they are also known as cloth pads or reusable menstrual pads. Um, they look like this, but depending on the brand, obviously they look different. They snap yeah, on the back of your underwear. Um, that's a, that one's a panty liner. This one is a uh, regular flow pad so it's pretty much the same um, size style as a disposable um, this one is really thin like really really thin so I mean it's probably thinner than some of the uh, like the uh, stay free ultra thin or whatever they are always I can't even remember um, the reason that I chose Mama Cloth mainly uh, was financial reasons. Um, I am not a naturalist or whatever you want to call it. Um, yes, disposable products are bad for you. You know, they have chemicals in them. Um, they are said to prolong your period um, as well as make it heavier. So, from that aspect, you know, I yes, I think that's bad. And uh, sure, it's bad for landfills and stuff, but I am not, um, you know, a lot of people that, that are doing mama cloths are, you know, huge, um, just all natural products, just everything. I don't at all want to offend anybody that is into natural stuff. That's great. But... I just, I guess I want to point out that it's not, you don't have to be all about natural everything in order to do mama cloth or cloth pads. Um, a lot of people think it's disgusting. It's not really any more disgusting than, um, you know, having to put up with regular pads. I was never, um, I never used tampons until I was like, I don't know, 18. I started my period when I was 8, so from age 8 until 18, I never, ever wore tampons. Um, they, I just didn't want anything up there. So, um, I, I mean, I got to the point where I couldn't even feel if I had a pad on. Um, so they don't really, they never really bothered me in the aspect of, like, feeling like a disposable pad. Um, however, I have worn... Um, I'm currently pregnant, so I haven't had a menstrual cycle um, for over nine months now. Um, but um, I do wear, I have one of the panty liners as well as these little light ones. Um, and I love the feel of, like, I couldn't even tell this was in my underwear. Um, I guess because it's, it, this one's flannel, but because it's cloth, like, it just felt like my underwear. Um, so, I mean, that's a really nice thing. Um, I, a lot of people, the, uh, the big question is, do they leak? Um, I can't really answer that for myself. Um, from everything that I've watched and people that I've gotten good, re like, reviews from, um, they all say that they've never had a problem with leaking. However, depending on what you buy, you buy for the specific absorbency and you have to keep in mind that everybody's view on absorbency could be different as far as my heavy days may be heavier than somebody else's heavy days or regular days, light days. So in each pad, you know, like this is for a light to regular flow. Well, if I wore this for a heavy flow, it might overflow. You know, so you have to keep in mind what your pad is meant for. Um, in some, 
And so, and also, you know, the people who make the pads, mostly are stay-at-home moms. They're not really a, uh, like a chain, uh, big distributor item. Um, so, you know, their menstrual cycles will probably be different than yours. So they may say this is a light to medium pad, but really it's their, you know, it's your heavy pad if you don't have, if you don't have uh, heavy periods in general. So it just, you know, you got to keep that in mind. Um, they're addicting because they're so adorable. Um, I mean, the patterns, the, I don't know, I just love them. Um, how I was introduced to Mama Cloths was we actually decided to cloth diaper. Um, and so then talking to the mamas that cloth diaper, um, I was introduced to Mama Cloths. Um, and again, like we were just looking for ways to save money. Um, so <laughs> these do save money as long as you don't get too addicted, excuse me, and buy a million of them. Um, like I said, they're not, they're not cheap. Even the most inexpensive ones are not very inexpensive. Um, so it is an initial investment, but think of how many pads and tampons you go through, uh, every month you know it's something you can use for years to come they um as long as you take care of them you won't have to deal with staining um as long as they're good quality you know they'll hold up for like i said years to come um so it's just you know i don't know i wanted to give it a try um like i said because i've invested um uh, quite a bit of money into it i'm not uh I'm doing it. <laughs> so, whether or not I love it, <laughs> it's going to happen. Um, so, yeah. I just, um, you know. Uh, I don't know. It's not for everyone. Um, oh. On the go. Like, a lot of people are like, well, I could use them at home, but I don't really want to use them when I'm out. Well, it's really easy to use them when you're out. Um. All you need is a wet bag, and I have, yeah, this one's technically for diapers, but I mean, technically not. I could use it for whatever. It's a wet bag. It has a waterproof lining inside, um, so you would just carry one of these. They have smaller ones for your purses. Um, with cloth diapering, you can put it with your cloth diapers, or you can keep it in a separate area. Um, but anyways, you would fold it up like, fold it up, and it'll snap shut, so it's like this, so nothing is getting on anything, and then you just put it in your wet bag, and then when you get home, and this zips up, so it keeps in the odor, anything that has to do with it. Of course, also, with there not being any chemicals in the cloth, there's less odor because a lot of the odor that you smell in your pads is actually your uh, period reacting to the chemicals. Um, but anyway, so you get home, and then you take it out, and you unsnap it, and then depending on your, di your um, routine with how you clean your pads, whether you, you know, rinse it out or just throw it in your wet bag, um, to be washed. Um, it just depends on what you decide to do as far as caring for your pads. Um, soak them, whatever. But you would just pull it out and put it with your pads at home. Um, like I said, very easy. Um, especially when you're cloth diapering because then, you know, you can um, wash them all together. Um, I don't know. I personally probably wouldn't wash them with my regular clothes. Um, they're recommended you can wash them with towels if you don't do cloth diapers, which I probably would do towels. Um, since I haven't really started using them on a full-time basis, I haven't gotten like a wash routine down. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. It'll probably be somewhat of a trial and error thing. Um, but I'm really excited to being able to start trying them. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to comment and I will help you out as much as I can. Thanks.